Today I review this thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Walther PDP F series. This is Adrienne with Review This Thing. If you watched our channel very much about the same time last year, you saw that we did, I think, eight or nine different pistol reviews. We even took a group of my friends out and had them shoot all of those pistols too, and hopefully find the perfect nine millimeter for the female shooter. Well, when I found out that Walther had the PDP F series, which is designed specifically for the female shooter, I was definitely intrigued. The folks at Walther were kind enough to send one over to us to test out. Other than that, they don't pay us and they don't have any input in our review. So I assure you it's completely unbiased. We've shot several hundred rounds through it at the range, so I'm ready to tell you what I think. Let's go ahead and review this thing. Now, before we get too far into the review, I want to assure you that unless you see me shooting the gun, it is completely unloaded at all times. All right, you know how we do this, let's cover the facts. The first part is fit. One thing I really appreciate, you can see by looking at it, they didn't just shrink it and peek it. From what I read, Walther not only talked to their professional shooters on their team, but also scanned the hands of like a thousand different women so they could design it for women. And a lot of those features have to do with fit, so we're gonna talk about most of those here. Now men, don't quit watching here, even though it's a women's gun. My husband has shot this gun quite a few times as well, and he also loves a lot of things about it. So it might actually fit you better than the guns you've tried yourselves. Let's first talk about the grip. From the base of my thumb to the end of my middle finger is about four and a half inches, and the width of my last three fingers is right at two inches. The length of the F-Series grip is about two and a quarter inches, which leaves more than enough room for all of my fingers to fit very comfortably on the grip. And I also really like the little curve at the end. Seems to help with control, and also I think it makes it more comfortable. One women-specific design feature is that it has a decreased grip circumference right at about five and a quarter inches at its widest point with the larger back strap. Know that there is a little bit smaller one as well. And there is enough curve in that back strap to where it's gonna just snug right there in the base of your palm. Another F-Series feature is the grip angle. Designed as such that female shooters can get higher up on the grip at the trigger guard and higher up into where the thumb guard is. And being able to grip higher up increases comfort but also gives you better control. And because of that, I feel like recoil is very manageable and not uncomfortable at all. Now, in addition to how it feels gripping the gun, there are a couple of other things we like to talk about when it comes to fit. It has a decreased trigger reach at just about two and three quarter inches. I'm able to get the whole of my finger flat against the trigger, which also makes it pretty easy to squeeze. And then the other thing with fit we like to talk about is reaching the mag release. With this gun, I am able to hold it in my natural shooting position and reach the release without having to adjust and move my hand around. Overall, I would say the Walther PDP F-Series fits my hands better than most other handguns I've tried. Because of that, I'm gonna have to give fit a five out of five. Now is the Walther PDP F-Series as advertised. Most of the things Walther advertises about this handgun are about ergonomics, but there are a couple of other things that they advertise. First is that the slide is designed to require less force to operate. They actually claim there is a 20% reduction in force. I don't really have a way to test that to see how accurate it is, but I can tell you that this slide is very easy to operate. The slide also has what they call super terrain slide serrations, which do make it easier to grip the gun, whether you're gripping it at the rear or the front and work that slide. And those serrations actually have rounded edges to keep the gun from getting hung up when you're carrying concealed. Another thing they advertise is the performance duty trigger maximizes accuracy and confidence. The decreased length of travel they advertise on this gun is 0.24 inches, and they boast an increased tactile feedback on the break of the trigger. The trigger, you can definitely feel the break. There's kind of a click with it, and then whenever you get to that reset, there's also a very palpable click in that trigger. We measured the trigger pull at just under an average of four pounds. That weight is a very comfortable trigger pull, and it breaks at a very natural point. Because of these things, I feel like I was pretty accurate with this PDP F-Series and able to get back on target for a follow-up shot too. And the final thing that advertise is unmatched dependability. We shot a few hundred rounds through it with, I think it was three or four different kinds of ammo, and most of them did really, really well. There was only a couple times where the round hung up and didn't cycle in for that next round, but that was only with one brand, and I think it only happened like twice, so I don't know that that would be a problem across the board. Based on the things Walther advertises, it seems to do what they say. So we're gonna have to give, as advertised, a five out of five. Now, before we move on to the next section, if you enjoy our videos, comment and let us know that and give us that thumbs up. And if you haven't, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Now onto construction and durability. 
The Walther PDP F-Series is, of course, a compact 9mm semi-automatic handgun with a black steel slide and a polymer frame. There is a 4-inch option, but this is the 3.5-inch option, which puts it at an overall length just under 7 inches and a height of 5 inches. And with this Trijicon red dot on it, it weighs right at a pound and a half unloaded. It comes with two magazines. You can order it with two 10 round magazines if your state does not allow 15 round ones. One thing with construction I want to talk about is the grip texture. Apparently I have crazy sensitive hands. Don't really like aggressive textures at all. And with this one I would have to say it's just the right amount of aggressiveness so that you feel like you have a good hold on it, but not so aggressive that after a few rounds it is really irritating to my skin. It does come with a three dot sight. So they're pretty easy to line up. They are also adjustable, so if you find yourself shooting you know, left, right, up, or down, you can make adjustments to correct those things. It would be nice if those sights were high-vis. I like that better than just the kind of typical three dot, but these are pretty good too. But one of my favorite parts about this gun is that it is also optics ready. It comes with a plate that covers that area, but once you buy your gun, you go online to the Walther website, and then you order the plate that you need and you get one for free. Because of the plate that we had requested, we borrowed this Trijicon red dot from a friend. It was super easy to mount, and I was not surprised when I took it back to the range with this red dot on it. I was much more accurate. I didn't zero the red dot because we are borrowing it, but when I adjusted my aim point, I was able to be fairly consistent. As you continue to look at the features of the gun, it also has a rail on the front, so if you want to mount a red dot or a light, it'll be really easy to do that way too. I want to point out, as far as safeties go, this gun doesn't have a thumb safety, but has a trigger safety. I have to tell you, this trigger safety is, I think, the only thing that we don't like about this gun. I feel like it's pretty narrow, and I think sharp is maybe the best way that I can describe it. At first, I thought it was just maybe my finger placement, but when Robbie shot it, he said the same thing. Both of us had some irritation on the tip of our finger, and we're also getting some pinching between that safety and the trigger. It could just be something we are doing incorrectly. If you have this gun and you have some tips on how to let that not happen, then comment below and let us know. Now, as far as durability, we haven't had any issues, no problems, everything is still holding up well. Overall, there are so many things we really like about this gun. The only thing truly is that trigger safety, but I'm gonna have to take a little bit off for that and give construction and durability a 4.6 out of five. Now onto testimonials and reviews. We have found it to be quite challenging to find scored reviews, but the ones we found for this were extremely positive. I can only find a couple of small complaints, so you know I wanna let you know what those were. The first complaint I saw was somebody said that there were too many steps to the takedown for cleaning. We took it apart the other day just to see, and it seems pretty well as simple as any other gun. And then, this did make me feel a little bit better, there were a couple of complaints about that trigger safety. Just the slim nature of it. One person said that after about 300 shots they noticed it. Maybe I'm a wuss, but I noticed it after probably about 30 or 40. You know what we're going to do? We're going to tell you the score we found. So for testimonials and reviews, the Walther PDP F-Series gets a 4.9 out of 5. Now the reason you're here, should you buy this thing? As usual, it totally depends on what you're looking for. Before you go buy a handgun, if you can, at a minimum go handle it. Any way possible, go shoot it for yourself before you buy. One really cool thing from Walther is they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you buy this gun, take it to the range and shoot it as much as you can in 30 days. And if you decide you don't like it, then you can return it and get your money back. Women, I would highly encourage you to check out the Walther PDP F-Series. It's a comfortable gun to shoot and one I think I can feel very confident with, especially if I can get used to that trigger safety. Now men, don't let that whole F-Series thing throw you off. It may be what you're looking for too. MSRP is $699, but I have seen it on retail for right around $649. Now that is a bit more expensive than some other compact handguns, but I like the way it fits, how it feels, and how it shoots. So it's definitely one I would consider purchasing. I am going to take a little bit off because of that price point and because of that trigger safety. But because of those things, I'm going to give Should You Buy This Thing a 4.5 out of 5. Hey, thanks for watching our Walther PDP F-Series review video. While you're here, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment, and let us know what you thought about it. Watch a whole bunch of other videos, go to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, check out our deals, sign up for our newsletter, check out our hauler store, our Amazon storefront, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.